Hello and welcome to Qualitative 2013 in Valencia. I'm delighted to be joined by Joanna Fagelman. Joanna, thank you very much for joining me. Do you want to first of all tell me a little bit about yourself? Certainly. Hello. <laughs> so I am an applied cultural anthropologist and my company is Human Branding and we're based out of Toronto, Canada. And our focus is really taking the academic discipline of anthropology, which is all about a deep understanding of human behavior and culture and society and really applying that in a marketing uh, and communications context and, and obviously through market research, which is why we're here at SMR. Mm. And you're doing a paper. Um, can you tell me a little bit about that, please? Absolutely. So the paper that I'm presenting, I have the pleasure of co-presenting with one of my clients, Catherine Bauer from Leo Pharma, and uh, based out also out of Toronto. Um, our title is What Do You Do When Your World is Turned Upside Down? And uh, basically, it is a paper that overviews uh, a study that we did on in, in, an, in a category, which was in women's health, um, where basically all the rules of that category had been completely turned on their head, essentially, mm -hmm. because we were looking at a situation where uh, the client, my client, was looking at a situation where they were marketing a drug that was for uh, a, a topic you'll be very well aware of, um, menopause, um, <laughs> a menopause drug. Well, mm -hmm. we're all touched by it in some way, be it personally or through you know, some relative or personal relationship. So um, basically, this, the drugs used to treat menopause, uh, the symptoms of menopause, hot flashes and so forth, um, were actually challenged uh, through a very big study called the Women's Health Initiative. Mm -hmm. And this actually questioned the validity of this therapy, and which was given basically to almost every woman in North America mm -hmm. to treat symptoms once they went through, or were going through menopause. So this company that she was working for was really challenged to say, how do we figure out um, a new way of talking to women once this big study had come out and basically linked the treatment for menopause to potentially cancer? Mm -hmm. And so there was a real need to look at the world completely differently and question some of the ways that uh, this drug had been marketed and positioned and that the consumer, the women, had been understood. So they, they actually ended up going through a very big, you know, a questioning of all the approaches they'd done in the past and realizing they needed to do something completely different. Mm -hmm. And that was how they basically were advised by various consultants, including McKinsey, who we've all heard of, to go find a great anthropological firm that mm -hmm. could help them get to the really deeper issues. And that's mm -hmm. how they found human branding. Right. And uh, we ba we undertook together an investigation where we challenged basically every single preconceived notion about what menopause was, how it was conceived, how it should be treated by all stakeholders, women, their doctors, their families, their husbands, their friends. And we conducted a really, um, a quite a in-depth anthropological investigation where we looked at everything from the societal trends that were shaping the landscape of how women are viewed, how menopausal symptoms are viewed, how menopause is viewed. We looked, we did an in-depth ethnography, which is the foundational uh, methodology of anthropology, which is about spending three, four hours with women, mm -hmm. um, going through their hot flashes with them, um, you know, talking to their friends in a coffee shop, really spending intense time with them to see what their lives were really all about, and also going to their doctor's offices with them and seeing what that relationship was like. We also analyzed the language that they use. We used discourse analysis which was really about understanding the codes and emotions and cues that we could find through the language that they were using to really understand um, the deeper hidden values and drivers that were shaping the changes in attitudes towards menopause. And that's really, you know, applied anthropology at Human Branding, that is our approach, is going beneath the surface and using anthropology, this very um, defined discipline in a more of a marketing context to get to the hidden layers of meaning, the, the hidden societal drivers, the hidden motivators that we can use to then understand where is the market going, where are there gaps or tensions that exist between peop what people say, what they do, what they want, what they think they want, and making very cogent, the applied part is, the very cogent strategic recommendations on, okay, We've uncovered what's hidden beneath the surface in people's interactions, in their lives, in their day-to-day, -day, and we're, we actually then take it as applied anthropologists to the, a very actionable strategic roadmap for our clients working in collaboration with them, and we actually ended this project with a whole new definition of how a company, a pharmaceutical company, should be talking about menopause in a whole new paradigm and in a whole new way that actually uh, changed the dialogue between the patient and society and, and physicians. So menopause has always been seen as, oh, poor you, dear. You know, you're going through the change. or menopause. You won't have your beautiful menstrual cycle anymore. But in reality, we were hearing from women that this was actually a time that 
they wanted to celebrate. It was actually kind of a, a positive thing. And so we actually leveraged this tension between the negativity of menopause being seen as kind of a loss to the positivity of menopause as being seen as a gain. And we leveraged that tension for an entirely new strategic communications roadmap for the company, the brand, and it's held true for I think it's been eight plus years now the company's been leveraging the insights. So really um, foundational and uh, really directional insights that were futurist in nature. Mm. That sounds really interesting. And, and what time is that so that, uh, and what day is that as well so that we can catch that? Oh, wonderful. Um, ooh, the time. We better check the actual time. I know we're in the last block um, of presentations under brilliant transformations. Um, and we are the first speakers in that time block. I think it starts around after 3 p.m. Um, and I'll be presenting myself and Catherine and we're looking forward to it on, choo on choos Tuesday, right? <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> you can you can remind the exact details, but I know it's on Tuesday after 3. Uh, yes. Cool. All right, I'm looking forward to it too. Joanna, thank you very much for joining me and I look forward to your presentation tomorrow. Thank you very much.